Hi, honey. Hello. I can't wait to eat tonight. My mouth's watering already. My mouth is always running. Tonight we're making spaghetti carbonara. Spaghetti alla carbonara. One of my favorites. It's one of my son's favorites. Long story short, my son was in Italy. He called us after a week. He says, Dad, my stomach is killing me. I got to go to the doctor. Go, what the hell do you eat? Because I eat carbonara every day. I go, that'll do it. <laughs> Whatever. So this is what we're going to need. We got pecorino romano. We got egg yolks. One chale, the most important part. I diced it all up already. Salt and pepper to taste. And like I said, the spaghetti. We'll be back by the pan to do our guanciale. What you doing? First thing, your guanciale in the pan. We're gonna brown this up really nice, all right? This is the first part. Look at that, beautiful. Now, if you guys can't get guanciale, you could use pancetta too. So, don't despair. We're gonna round this up and we'll be back. Okay, honey. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put the salt in for the pasta. That's the only place where I put salt. Now our guanciale is done. I'm gonna take it out with the spoon. Look at that. Oh, Look at that beautiful color. It smells so good. Scotty wants some, I can hear him. This is so good, let me tell you. Like I said, if you guys can't get guanciale, you guys can easily get pancetta, because I know pancetta everybody has. So what I like to do now is, because we need the oil, but I like to just use the oil, not that little pot on the bottom. So I'm gonna do this. The little black stuff right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but a little black stuff right there, I don't wanna use that. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna wipe my pan and put the oil back, and we'll be back. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna make our, they, in Italy they call it our pastetta. So take my egg yolks. And don't forget guys, the full recipe will be in Family Talk and Taste. YouTube. On YouTube, yes. YouTube, Family Talk and I always forget to say the YouTube. Thank God you remind me. So we're making a little paste. So you grated your Romano cheese and you never have enough Romano cheese. Never. I don't care what anybody says. So I put four handfuls Probably around, say six ounces, seven ounces, maybe. Look at that, nice, you want it to be nice and pasty. A little pepper, you know, and even this, you never have enough. Two little teaspoons, but of course, that's the taste. I'm gonna give this a nice whip. It's hard to do it this way, but I want you guys to see. Look at that. It's almost like, it's almost like Dijon mustard, right? It's a little runny, I like it a little bit tighter. Like I said, you never have enough cheese. Yeah, cause you're gonna add pasta water, right? Just a little pasta water, yes. Well, we gotta wait for our pasta to boil. We got a nice little paste, you see? Even a little bit more. A little bit more. This is a rich dish too. You don't need to eat a lot of this pasta. Here we go. Nice. See, that's the way I want it. See, not too, not runny, like that. All right, we'll be back, guys, with our pasta. Right, we'll look with a nice rolling ball. We put our pasta in there. The whole box. Look at that. We'll let it fall all by itself. Nice, nice, and nice. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes and then we're gonna put the whole thing together. We'll be right back, guys. Okay. Mm, I love that pancetta. All right, so our pasta is boiling here, it's done. So we're gonna transfer it to, uh, this is the oil that I separated. So we want a little pasta water in here. Look at that, huh? A bella piatta da pasta. And then we're gonna get ukupin. What's ukupin, man? Tell everybody. How do you say that in English? A scooper? <laughs> a ladle, right? Isn't that a how you say it in English? A ladle? A ladle, yeah. We don't wanna waste any pasta. Is there any more left in there? No, that's it. We're gonna get ukupin. He's coming right back. Put a little cupina of water in there. We're gonna give this a little stir. Look at 
that. Huh? Beautiful. Nice that We're gonna let all that nice oil get soaked into the spaghetti. Just a little bit more. Cause this is a whole pound. Which I tell my wife, it's a lot of pasta. Yeah, but we got Johnny tonight. Hey, Ali. So we're four people. All right. Now we're gonna go to the other side where we got our pastetta ready. All right, here we go. Just a little bit more water. I think we're gonna need it. Beautiful, perfect. All right, here we go. So we take it off the heat, right? Yes, because we don't want our eggs to scramble. Really, they, they won't scramble, but you know. We put our pastetta in here. Now the heat from the water and the heat from the spaghetti is gonna make this all nice and creamy. Look at that, look at the cream. Look at that. It's a beautiful. That it is. Look at that. Huh? A little bit more in here. And these are hex clad pots, so you yes. can use metal. And the eggs won't scramble. People say they will, but they won't. Put a little bit more cheese. You never have enough cheese. Don't forget my favorite part. And we're gonna put our one chowder. Put it all. <laughs> Don't want to miss a, a kernel, is that what you call these things? Huh. All right, we're going to finish putting this together and then we're going to be at the table. Look how the cream is starting to form now. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Huh? Delicious. We'll be back by the table. Si mangia. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's creamy. I can taste the cheese, the guanciale. It, it, it's the perfect dish. All right. Si mangia spaghetti alla carbonara. Take it easy, guys. We love you.